Hello. Meeny, 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 meeny. What? Meeny, 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 meeny. What? Meeny, 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 meeny. They call him Pasta News. He's from the group De La Soul. Everybody should know about De La Soul. They've been around since 1928 in the hip hop game, and they're still here in 2006. How you doing, fam? Y'all been together like more than 15 years, 17 years. How do y'all do that, man? Is he, you know, Mace looks like he's the biggest one. Does he keep in the order, or do y'all, you know, get in there and battle each other? I mean, how do y'all work it out? It's just love, man, and being able to give each other your space and. Even though you can sometimes hate each other, you really love each other. At the end of the day, you got each other back. A lot of people don't realize I've, I've known Dave since I was in fourth grade. So, I mean, like, oh, really? we've known each other through school and hated each other and got on each other's nerves and fought at each other. So, I mean, like, getting to do it with De La Soul, we had already put in that much work already. What about Maceo? Same thing. I mean, you know, Mace moved from Brooklyn when I was like going into like 10th grade. He all mean about to, you know, want to beat people up. He's a big guy. He's a real big guy. Always been big. Always been big. But he has a great heart. And he was always a great DJ. And he aligned himself with people like Paul and other people in the neighborhood. And, he, you know, and you could never deny that talent that he had. A lot of people don't realize that. All the members of De La Soul always did production. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, and I love Paul, but a lot of all y'all did it. All of us. I mean, like okay. I produced. Ooh, I did. Say no go. I, I can keep going. Like I did so many tracks. For I just thought you was the rapper. No, no you was the so, producer and the rapper. Yeah, we all produce, and that that is what is so great about us and the collaboration between us and Paul. Like we had the skills. He helped bump it up more and we just kept feeding off each other and learning from each other. You guys have uh, stayed kind of on the independent side of things. Mm -hmm. No no desire to try and get into that fray and it just, maybe save the industry? It just doesn't make sense in our in our uh, minds and I mean I think in the last venture we just did with Sanctuary really proved it. We could have did that on our own and got more money off of it. You know I mean we've always just been that type of group that we, we're about getting in where we fit in, fit in. We don't try to just make something happen that can't happen and doesn't make sense to happen, you know. It, would just, it just has to be a natural feel. Here it is, we did what we did with the gorillas, and it was in no no way of thinking that it would be big record or do what it do, and here that's I won my first Grammy. Did y'all win a Grammy? Yeah, I won a Grammy. Won a Grammy, oh, performed on the open the Grammy every, every year. You know, like so, so won a Grammy. I didn't even know that. Nah, man. but it's, you know what I'm saying. It's just like it's you didn't even invite us to the, um, you, know. you know, to the Grammy. Party. I, did, I, I I thought you would be boycotting it, so I didn't want to tell you to come. Well, you know, I would have <laughs> came for you all. You know, I thought y'all would have said, hell no, I ain't taking no Grammy. <laughs> but if you was going, I would have broke the boycott. Yeah. yeah, you know the business. Here's the ultimate battle that I want to have happen. All right. We have De La Soul on one side, mm -hmm. The Roots on the other, mm -hmm. Questlove versus Maceo, and a DJ battle, selecting beats. Who wins? I don't know. I mean, you know I got to stand by my crew. I mean, Roots is official, but you know. Are you saying that Maceo would take Quest out? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying, like, I, I got to stand behind my man. Amir does his thing, though. I mean, it, I could never lie on that. He, are you saying Macy or Tim? Mace got the essence. He know that party. You know that's <laughs> you know, he knows how to party and duck when the bullet comes. Like that's Mace. Mace all day with that. You versus Black Thought. Oh, thought would kick my ass. I'm not I mean like yo, I I'm a humble dude. I am I'm, I'm I'm being honest. Like, yo, a lot of people have told me how what how they feel about me as an MC and and I'm blessed to have people feel like that about me because yo, for real, I rate myself as like, you know. A, a strong five going into a sixth. You know, I love people like Thor, people like Most, Common. They help, like, you know, Most was one of the main batteries behind me lyrically advancing in, on stakes as high. So, I mean, like, I always have the creativity, but my, my, my nigga Dave and my group, like, he's just incredible to me. Like, Dave, I sit down, put his hand in his ear, listen to the beat once, and he'll just, you know, bring out something incredible. I'm a, I'm a person who got a chisel now and then and mold it and chisel and scrap and chisel. That's hey man, how I do it. Speaking of most, there he goes. Hey, most. He just said you inspired him, man. Is that true? Come on, y'all. Get live, get down. They gave me my, they gave me man, my official. Like yeah. I said, stakes, stakes is high. Stakes that, is high. Like he put the battery in my lyrical back. This dude. That, thank you, Dave. I so for this everything. So I had to say that. Stakes is high. 10 year anniversary. Like, there you go. Yeah, day than it did, than it did then, and it was fresh then. How you doing yourself, oh, man? I'm good, man. I'm laying low, just you know, living and glad to be here. Right. Make, 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 make.
def affiliation. I mean, the industry is what it is, man. It's like a, it definitely grows. It's all about if it's growing in the right direction. And for certain certain people, they may feel this is the right direction because if they want to get a piece of it, you know, and get out, because that's what a lot of the newer dudes is taught. Like, yo, you, your window is, your time is so short. You need to get what you can get, you know, Get that hit record, get that cereal, you get your face on a cereal box, get that movie part, and get out. A lot of these artists that 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 are doing music like that, they have the talent to go so much further and longer. But like as I was saying, they feel like their time in this is so short already that they make it that much shorter. I mean, like I've always said it, like De La Soul was never about trying to blow up and do what we gotta do. We always compared ourselves to an incense. You burn slow and slow, and even after you finish burning the aroma and the smell is still left and it's still felt and your presence is still felt. Are there any sounds and trends on the horizon that you're looking at that you say, you know what, I think De La Soul could get into that Afro-Cuban jazz thing or well, that hyphy stuff. I mean, so what are you looking at right it, now? It definitely works. I mean, because it's no different than back when brand new heavies came through and was doing their things. And he was like, yo, we tried it and we did what we did with Balloon Mind State. I mean, like... If, if it feels natural and it feels good, you respect it. And if you feel like, you know what, I could add something or it can add something to what I do, we've always added it. I could never front on what anyone is doing and what it could possibly add to the music. I mean, I've, E-40 has been in my heart, been a fan of his, and for him to now even be the one leading something, like to me, E-40 always been leading in, in what he did. And now if the whole world is now paying attention to him, then that's good, but he's always been there. A real hip hop fan know that. And who are you a fan of that's coming out today, right now? Somebody who you stand out here. That person, that group, they got it. Nobody. Quite honestly. It's like songs that I love, it's songs that, that can move me, but it's not. <clears throat> here it is. <clears throat> Everyone's here is waiting to see Wu Tang. I mean, it's nothing like that to me personally right now. This, you know, a lot of people now, it's, it's very cookie cut. It's like everyone has now a crew, and it's all about their movement, but. Not that it doesn't necessarily sound natural, but it doesn't necessarily move me. I don't feel convinced about it. Everyone got a crew. Everyone know thug dudes from the, around the corner. We had a bunch of them with us when we did what we do. We told them to stay back, and if they had to hold us down, they would hold us down. I mean, everyone got that. So, I mean, it's like, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, like, it's not a lot of crews that come out where I'm, like, believing in everything that's going on. We doing it, you know. You know, Jay is on, and then Jay's gonna put Kanye on, and Kanye's gonna put this person on, and then, you know, it's like everyone gotta co sign each other. It just can't be like out of nowhere, like, damn, like out of the bay, who the hell is that? They gotta be co signed by E40. It's like, that's nonsense to me. Talent should be talent, and that's what it should be. Hey, yo, tell you when to go. This is Pops Plug Wonder Wabi from the Crew De La Soul. We are living not so much a hard knock life, but we are rocking for hard knock TV. Word up.